during a major annual tournament for the fighting game Street Fighter V, the series' creators and Capcom announced the biggest anthology ever for the series, if not for Capcom as a game maker. On Sunday, the developers interrupted their Capcom Cup event to unveil the Street Fighter 30th Anniversary Collection, which why? All combine a giant set of games, a bunch of features, and an ambitious every system simultaneous launch in May 2018 for $39.99. The primary selling point of this set is that it will finally combine the every mainline, sprite-based Street Fighter game in one anthology. Capcom counts that as 12 games. The timeline starts with Street Fighter No. Number. this is the 1987 original with only Ken and Ryu selectable. E, and it continues with every version of Street Fighter 2, Street Fighter Alpha, and Street Fighter 3. Sorry, Pocket Fighter and Street Fighter the movie game fans. Pick through everything related to the Street Fighter universe yes, as ultimately the film, as well via the anthology's comprehensive timeline. What's a good anthology without a detailed concept art gallery? Add commentary about realistic thigh of sizes here during the apparent Chun-Li concept stages. If this handsome hand-drawn art is any indication, T. His anthology will include some cool concept art. The very first game appears in a very rare console appearance. Screens of gameplay from the series' various games, including a variety of borders and screen sizes. What's more, Capcom will deliver full online support for four entries in the anthology Street Fighter 2 Turbo, Hyper Fighting, Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo, Street Fighter Alpha 3, and Street Fighter 3 Third Strike. All four of those titles will support casual and ranked matches, along with four-person lobbies. They will also support a vaguely described rewind feature to let P. Layers fine-tune input timing to contend with any latency issues. We'll have to see whether this actually lets players rewind matches to day street or if it's just like other fighting games latency adjustment meters. The full package, which also includes a meaty concept art gallery, a comprehensive series timeline, a music player, and the ability to save and freeze your game at any time via save states, will launch in May 2018 on Xbox One, PlayStation 4, Nintendo Switch, and Windows PC via Steam. In recent years, many, but not all, of this anthology's games have launched on various systems as self-contained purchases. Street Fighter Alpha's trilogy is the biggest exception, as its three entries have languished since launching on the PlayStation 2 and Dreamcast around the turn of the century, while all five SFII arcade entries have yet to launch in an easy play-and-compare anthology. Nintendo Switch owners who bought this year's Ultra Street Fighter 2 may feel them if, seeing as that game also cost $39.99 and was, you know, only one title. But its remastered elements are not coming to this 2018 anthology, and it will continue to exclusively host Evil Ken as a playable SFII character. So, take that as you will, Street Fighter Completed.